find. It was promoted as Christmas in July. Today, Amazon offered online deals as part of its own holiday, Amazon Prime Day. But Walmart also got in on the action, rolling back prices as a way to boost some summer sales. San Diego 6's Amanda Shotsky live in our newsroom now with more on what local analysts are saying about this. Amanda. Well, big savings or big disappointment, that seems to be the question as Prime Day wraps up. Some of you may have spent the morning in your PJ scrolling through Amazon for the best deals, but now shoppers are turning to social media to express their frustration. It was the middle of summer and sales were bad. Nothing was stirring, not even an iPad. Okay, maybe it's a little dramatic, but marketing experts agree retailers often sing the summertime blues. You have Mother's Day and Father's Day that end in June, graduation, and then a kind of big lull until back to school. In an effort to boost sales, Amazon celebrated its 20th anniversary by marking Wednesday as Prime Day, a one-day super sale for its Amazon Prime users, promising more deals than Black Friday and new sales as often as every 10 minutes. And it's their way of saying thank you to consumers who have are either loyal Amazon Prime members or they want to get new Amazon Prime uh, subscribers at $99 a year. Creating some friendly competition, Walmart quickly responded with its own shopping holiday event to rival Amazon with more than 2,000 online deals and reducing its shipping costs. SDSU marketing professor Mira Kopik says while the two retail giants going head-to-head -head can only be good for summertime sales, it will be hard to match November and December deals. The total number of deals, even if Walmart said uh, 2,000 items, that's a fraction of the items that they normally have for Black Friday or Cyber Monday that are discounted. And while this shopping day has been dubbed Christmas in July, online shoppers are calling it more of an April Fool's Day, frustrated with the lack of big ticket items. On Twitter, comments like Prime Day equals Amazon's garage sale. And Prime Day is some sort of postmodern experiment to see if disappointment can be quantified. But Kopik says despite the items being non traditional, the savings are still solid thanks to a retail smackdown. It could be shorts, could be baby clothes, could be home goods, could be headphones as opposed to the big big screen TVs, but they're going to be really great deals. And when I spoke with Professor Kopik, he said that it is important to Amazon that this highly pu publicized Prime Day is successful, but it doesn't appear to be the case right now. Prime Day fail is trending online. Christmas and July sales are also being offered at Target and Best Buy. In the studio, I'm Amanda Shotsky, San Diego 6 News. Amanda, thank you. Did you give it a shot? I did. I set my alarm for early this morning, mm -hmm. rolled out of bed just like everyone else.